In this video, we're going to take a look at the two main ways that organisms can reproduce. So, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Some organisms, like plants, can reproduce through either of these two routes. However, most animals have to rely on sexual reproduction. And bacteria all reproduce asexually. Let's start with sexual reproduction. The key point here is that it involves the fusion of male and female gametes, which we call fertilization. And because there are two parents, the offspring contain a mixture of their parents' genes, and so are genetically different. This is why you inherit characteristics from both parents, and it means that over generations, it introduces lots of variation, as each person is different. Now, gametes are cells like sperm and eggs in animals, or when looking at flowering plants, pollen and eggs. And the important thing about gametes is that they only have half of the genetic material of a normal cell. So, whereas a normal human cell has 46 chromosomes, a human gamete only has 23. This means that when the two gametes fuse together, the resulting cell will have 46 chromosomes again just like our normal cell from before. We make gametes through a process known as meiosis, which we'll cover in the next video. One thing to point out is that sexual reproduction doesn't actually have to involve sex or intercourse. It just refers to the fusion of male and female gametes. For example, when plants reproduce by the combination of pollen and egg cells, it still counts as sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction, meanwhile, takes place with only one parent, and doesn't involve any gametes. This means that there's no mixing of genetic material, and so no genetic variation. Which means all of the offspring are identical clones. For eukaryotic organisms, such as plants, fungi, and a few animals, this asexual reproduction is achieved through mitosis while prokaryotic organisms, such as bacteria, do it by binary fission. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here, or browse our playlist here on YouTube.